What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on our 2013 Mini Cooper. We got that notorious exhaust solenoid problem, so uh, let's jump on that repair. Got our uh, cheap scanner hooked up. Uh, we're just gonna run a quick scan, and it says it's, it found two, two codes. Let's check them out. We got P054B as in Bravo, and P... 13C9. All right, so uh, we're gonna hook up the same uh, car to the BMW software. So as you can see, we're working on a uh, 2013 manufactured date, uh, 11 of 12, uh, R56 chassis with the N18 engine. So um, let's check out the uh, uh, faults here and we'll Check it out, um, no communication, we don't need to worry about those. And then we see our uh, 2D60, the Vanos exhaust uh, control fault, so we know that that uh, solenoid is bad. We've already taken it out and we attempted to, to clean it and bench test it and uh, we put it back in, drove it around, it lasted for a day or two and it's back on so this solenoid is faulty. So let's jump on the repair. All right, so uh, we're here under the hood. Uh, the exhaust solenoid is right next to your oil dipstick. As you can see here, here's the exhaust solenoid. And if you go straight back here, then you'll see the intake uh, solenoid. So that one's a little bit tougher to get to. You have to take off this uh, inlet uh, air tube and stuff. But today we're gonna be working on the exhaust. So let's go ahead and get it unplugged. Step one, just get a little plain tip screwdriver underneath the tip of the connection there, connector, and then it's just gonna pull straight off. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys, uh, I'm gonna put my screwdriver, and that one looks like it has a little white mark on it. So this top screw, not the bottom one, the top one is the only screw holding the solenoid in place, and it's gonna be a T30. Okay, broke it free. I'm just gonna reach in, spin it off by hand. Most important thing, obviously, is uh, do your best not to drop it when you get close to the edge. Okay, so I just switched to uh, back to my longer extension. That way I can uh, use my fingers to unscrew it. I put a towel uh, underneath, because uh, like I said, uh, you don't want to drop this guy. Or that would be ideal if you don't drop it. So get your hands in there and grab a hold of it. And then there's our screw. All right, so you can just uh, give it a little uh, wiggle back and forth, kind of break that seal, and then it should come out. It will drip a little oil, so just keep that towel that you had there in place. And there is our exhaust solenoid. Uh, Vano solenoid removed. Okay, so we're just gonna clean up our little work area here. We don't wanna have a bunch of uh, oil dripping down onto the exhaust. And, and don't be afraid, uh, you know, to get a little inside uh, the cylinder head there. It's not critical because uh, it is recommended that we uh, do an oil change at the time of uh, solenoid replacement. So um, it's not a big deal. We wanna make sure those passages are clean. So uh, we'll do that. Clean it up with a brake for a little bit. And then we'll be ready for assembly on the new one. Okay, so uh, we got our new uh, solenoid. So let's take a look. Make sure we got apples to apples here. Okay, everything looks great. And uh, put a little lubrication on our new solenoid before we uh, dump the oil in. We got everything cleaned up. We saw all of our towel there. And we're gonna go ahead and insert our solenoid. Just gonna give it a little wiggle and then push it in. I just kind of keep my finger on it as I bring the extension down and then get it into position. And then you can kind of get it started. I'm just gonna thread it in by hand. Oh, 
all the way by hand. Okay, and then I'll switch to the short extension. Okay, just snug it down. Don't get crazy. Don't forget to plug your connector back in. Go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this uh, video was uh, easy enough for you to follow. Uh, exhaust solenoid Vanos replacement on this Mini Cooper uh, 2000, uh, 7 to 13 and uh, with the N18 engine. Uh, so catch you guys on the next one.